chapter 112 is known as Surah, Surah Al-Ikhlas. Surah chapter, Ikhlas means to, uh, to be sincere and to, to purify something. So it, it describes who is God. And it, it's uh, four verses, Qul huwallahu ahad. So it's say. So the first word is say. So the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, has been commanded by Allah to announce, to say to the people, Qul huwallahu ahad. Say that Allah, He is one. Ahad, He is one. Allah is Samad. He is as Samad. As Samad is one of the names of Allah. And as Samad, the scholars they go into detail what it means but the the basic meaning is that he is self-sufficient he is completely independent and everything else is dependent upon him he was not born and none is born from him so god doesn't have parents and he doesn't have offspring he doesn't have children and there's nothing which is comparable to god we cannot say god is like this or god is like that so this purely defines God and from this I mean I can bring other verses in Quran but when this when God is described with these names and his attributes and his characteristics it necessitates that he alone is worthy of worship and Allah clearly says in Quran I believe chapter 16 uh, verse 36 where he said that in every nation, in every people, Allah has sent a messenger. And the messenger was sent with uh, to calling the people to worship Allah, to worship one God alone, and to stay away from a taghut. Taghut means anything which goes beyond beyond bounds. So it, to anything which is falsely worshipped, whether it is an, an angel, whether it is a prophet, a messenger, such as Muhammad, Jesus, Noah, Abraham, peace be upon all of them, whether it is the sun, the moon, the stars, trees, idols, etc. So basically, from this chapter in Quran, it establishes who is Allah, that He is one. He doesn't have partners, He doesn't have equals, He doesn't have sons. And the second verse I mentioned, it establishes that all of the messengers, including Jesus, including Moses, including Abraham, they simply called the people to worship one God alone and to avoid all false worship. Um, there's something else I just want to mention to you. Just let me get the English translation of Quran if you don't mind. So, so um, Abraham has a very high status in all of those religions which claim to follow him, whether it's Christianity, whether it's um, Judaism, whether it's Islam, even the idol worshippers in uh, Arabian Peninsula, they used to believe that they were upon the religion of Abraham. So I'm going to make this point, that's three points I made, and then you can, uh, you can uh, respond to them. So this is chapter 3, um, let's see, okay. Uh, bear with me. Okay, so it's, it's chapter 3. Chapter 3 is known as Ali, Ali Imran. Ali as in family, Imran is the father of Mary, the mother of Jesus. Uh, peace be upon all of them. So from chapter 4, it begins by saying, Say, O people of the scripture, people of the scripture, Ahlul Kitab, the intent in the Quran is addressing the Jews and the Christians because they received scripture as opposed to idol worshippers who never had books. Come to a word that is uh, equal or equitable between us, between us and you. So. The Quran is calling the, the Jews and the Christians, come to a word, come to a common word between us and you. That we will not worship except Allah. We will only worship the one true God and not associate anything with Him and not take one another as lords instead of Allah. 
So three things, worship God alone, do not worship other than him, and do not take our priests, our, our rabbis, our scholars as lords besides God, or pious people, etc., as, as lords beside God. But if they turn away, then say, bear witness that we are Muslims, meaning submitted to him. Then it continues, it's a few verses. O people of the scripture, why do you argue about Abraham while the Torah, the Torah given to Moses and the gospel given to Jesus were not revealed until after him? Then will you not reason? So the argument being made here is, when the Jews and the Christians, they argue, you know, we have more right to Abraham, we have more right to Abraham, etc. We are the true followers of Abraham. Allah is asking them, why are you arguing when your own books, the Torah and the Injil, were not even revealed till after Abraham? So then it continues by saying, here you are. Those who have argued about that, of which they have some knowledge. So it's, it's quite well known. The Jews and the Christians, they argue amongst themselves about that which they know. So they argue even about the things which they know. But why do you argue of that which you have no knowledge? So you don't have any clear knowledge, but you're still arguing. And Allah knows while you not, and you know not. Then the next two verses is the main point I wanted to get to. Allah says, مَا كَانَ Ibrahim يَهُودِيًا وَلَا Nasraniya." Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian. I'm going to explain why. But he was one inclining towards truth, a Muslim, submitting to Allah. And he was not of the polytheists. He was not an idol worshipper. Uh, then the next verse, and I'll come back to uh, verse 67. Indeed, the most worthy of Abraham among the people are those who followed him. So Allah is saying, those people who have the most right to Abraham are those people who followed him when he was a messenger on this earth. That's the first. And this prophet, the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, this prophet, the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he came with the true religion of Abraham, the true teachings of Abraham, and those who and those who believe. So three groups of people have the most right to Abraham: those who followed Abraham in his lifetime. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and those who follow him, the Muslims. And lastly, all of the believers who believe in all the messengers and worship God alone. And Allah is the ally, the protector, the guardian of the believers. Okay. Uh, I, I know I've talked a lot, but I'll, I'll give you an opportunity to answer. When we come to verse 67, it says, Abraham was neither a Jew. Yes. The reason why we say he was not a Jew, Abraham, as you know, he had two sons. His first son, Ismail, his second son, Isaac. Isaac was the father of Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons, as you said, Bani Israel, the children of Israel. These 12 sons, from one of them, one was known as Judah, okay, according to the Bible. So this was the southern kingdom. You had the, normal, the northern kingdom made up of 10 tribes, the Israelites, and you had the southern kingdom made up of uh, Benjamin and Judah. So, Jew is actually, it either refers to a district, an area, and later on it became to refer to the whole of the children of Israel and a religion, or it's actually a tribal name. So the, the great-grandfather of Judah, Abraham, cannot be from the tribe of his great-grandson. So G Abraham was not a Jew. Christian, a Christian, as you know, the the. Jesus never told people to be Christian. Rather, according to the, the New Testament, it was at Antioch that the people began to, the non-believers the non began to label the followers of Jesus as Christians, Christ-like. So this name came later. Jesus never called to it, Moses never called to it, and Abraham definitely was not a follower of, of Jesus. So the Quran clearly says that he was one who was Hanif. Hanif as it says here, one who inclines towards truth. Hanif is one who turns themselves towards God and they turn themselves away from false worship. And he was a Muslim. All of the messengers were Muslim. Muslim meaning one who submits to Allah. So I mentioned uh, three, three different things in the Quran. The first one was to describe the, the names and the attributes of, of God, which I believe Christianity, orthodoxy, completely violates and therefore they are disbelievers. 
Second is, I showed from the verse from chapter 16, verse 36, the order the messengers called to worship God alone and to avoid false worship. From this, I would say that Christians are disbelievers, it's a false religion. And then last was, I showed that from the Quran, the speech of Allah, that Abraham, he was a Muslim and he was not a Jew or a Christian. Feel free to respond. I should have said to you earlier. If you don't, it's three thirty-one now. I have to go at three forty. Is that okay? Okay, no problem. No problem. So, would you like me to pause it? The Orthodox understanding of God. No problem. Um, I just say because I, I'm going to let you have all the time. So this conversation, I don't think it's going to be concluded. So because what happens, is, especially when it comes to YouTube videos, it will come that Yusuf smashed. Christos, you know that's how the videos are, or it will come that, but I'm going to let you finish all the talk, I spoke for a long time, you can have the next eight, nine minutes, I, So, the, but the conversation is not finished, I would invite you to come back another Saturday, or you can find another brother and have the same conversation. My college is over there, so if it's Monday to Friday, will I see you here? No, we're only here Saturdays, oh. we come about uh, three o'clock, or you can go to Speaker's Corner and you can have the... Uh, speaker's Corner is a bit hectic, it's like a, it's, it's kind of like a jungle But if you want, you can find a Muslim brother and say Look, I want to talk to you, I want to have a polite conversation Away, uh, yeah. and you can have it recorded But I think th those brothers there, they're more experienced, they're more knowledgeable than me So you're welcome to come back But my point is this talk is not going to be finished yeah, yeah. today Hopefully one day I'm a Speaker's Corner heavyweight like yourself oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I don't, I don't, I'm not a heavyweight at all, well not in that way. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, carry on. Sorry, I just saw another speaker's corner regular. Sorry, I might. Oh, Amy, yes. <laughs> the, the special one. Uh, how, how privileged am I to meet with you guys? So, oh, Allah help us. Saint, sorry, Saint John of Damascus, uh, in his polemic against the Muslims he was living uh, under, is titled Heresy of the Ishmaelites. Okay. It's a very long polemic, but what he says basically is that the spirit. Sorry, is it available in English? Pardon? Is it available in English? Of course, definitely. Yeah. Okay, I read it in will, English. I will look it up. So it's, it's titled The Heresy Against the Ishma Ishmaelites, the people he was, the Muslims uh, around him. So in his polemic. You know there's a problem with the title. I, Ishmaelite is, is, the, is the Arabs tribe, where Muslims are, you know, the majority of the Muslims are not Arabs. But carry on. Okay, so in his polemic, he establishes that the word and Spirit of God are inseparable. Uh, sorry, inseparable. Yeah. My English is bad now. No problem. Yeah. No problem. It's, yes. Yeah. So he says that. He says essentially that the Muslims. Yeah. Uh, uh, who came uh, from Prophet Muhammad, the, the Tawheed notion that uh, they were mutilators of the Quran. He uses the language mutilators. He says that since word and spirit are inseparable, why do you accuse us of committing shirk, associating with the part of God uh, when we say Christ is Son of God? That's my uh, thing I just want to say to you. No problem. Yeah. Okay. I, I think we can respond, but it's, I mean, the, 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 the one who's watching, he can look at the arguments. But, because what is, I, I don't want to, because you said you're, you have a time limit, yeah, I yeah. don't want to just, like, I get the last yeah, word, course, and I'm, I'm the champion. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I thank you for your time. Yeah. It was a very nice conversation. Christos. Yusuf, I'll come back. No Not problem. for you, but I'll come back for the no talk. Problem, yeah, no problem, no problem, no problem. Okay, thank you very much for your time. The thing is that, like, for two years, I've seen you on YouTube, like a lot of the people no, on my page. Not me. So. I think you're thinking of another brother. Hamza. Yeah, Hamza. No, no, it was you, it was you, definitely. Okay. I, I know there's uh, Hamza, you, yeah. and there's another ginger Muslim. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's a few of us. Okay, should I take them off you? Uh, should I do? Thank you very much for your time. I, I appreciate it because it's nice when you have a polite conversation. Hamza, if uh, you or the, one of the Ummah can convince me Islam is true, I'll see what you heard that. I'll see it. Okay, no problem. But just to say one thing, Allah says in Quran that the, our responsibility is to convey. Yeah. It's, our responsibility is not to convince. But yeah. Allah says in uh, chapter 2, verse, I believe it's 254. I could be mistaken on 255. No, sorry, 257. It's around there. La ikraha fid deen. There is no compulsion in religion. We can't force yeah. anyone. But uh, the true uh, the truth is clear from error. Okay. So whether we convince you or not, but the truth should be clear from error. As a final message, no problem. Uh, I'm reading the Quran yeah. uh, independently. I've no read problem. the tafsir on Quran.com. Okay. If you can recommend me a, a, a surah or even an explanation 
I, I'm currently on Surah Bakara. So if you could give me some resources from here so I can research. I, w I would suggest, I mean, you can look up Ibn Kathir. Kathir. Ibn Kathir or As Saadi. As Saadi. If you just Google search it, this is a tafsir, so you can look up each individual verse. Yeah. Or what I would advise as well, because Quran was sent down over 23 years, different times, different places. So sometimes it can be hard to follow. What I would suggest is read it, obviously with an open heart. And when you come across a point, just have a notepad, write down the yeah, reference and, and your question or your confusion, and then go and ask an educated, trustworthy Muslim, and it will be clear to you. Christos, yes, thank sir. you for your time. All the I best. I will make my Speaker's Corner debut, God willing, no in a problem. few weeks. You already look like a Muslim. You're, you're, you're in the right direction. My beard's not like yours yet. It's not growing. No problem, no problem. Okay then, thank you for your time.